If you ever want candy, find out where the thread and the needle people are. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> literally on the stage. I don't know if we're allowed to be doing this, but here we are. All right, you guys, we are backstage with The Notebook, The Musical, and Ingrid Michaelson, and we're gonna get to show you a behind the scenes sneak peek. Let's go. Okay, now this is really special because this is what it's like to be backstage on Broadway. Now this is the hallway that leads to all the actors' dressing rooms, the backstage, everyone's running around, lots of hustle and bustle before the show. We're gonna go and try and find Ingrid so we can talk all things music and you're gonna come along with us. All right, you guys, look who we found backstage. Ingrid Michaelson is here. Ingrid, this is so exciting because we get the backstage tour of the Notebook musical. Before we dive into music, set the scene for us. Where are we right now in the city? We are at the Gerald Schoenfeld on 45th Street in Manhattan, in Times Square. This show has been open for a little over a month now. What has this process been like for you? Not only getting to write this, but then to see it come to life and to see the audience and to see it full. So we had a little taste of it in Chicago when we had our out of town run there um, a year and a half ago, but New York is a different thing and the New York audiences have just been so amazing. We got to really have a lovely preview period. Previews are when you get to work on the show with an audience. So you get to like test songs and scenes and see what works and what doesn't work. New Yorkers are just great because they kind of tell you how it is, you know? Yeah. They're hard to impress. Yeah. So if you can move a group of New Yorkers then every you know night, you, got you know you've got something good. How did you know when you were creating this, like that you were onto something? Because this is something that's been in the works for quite a while Seven for you. Seven years. Seven years. What made me realize it was so special was that everybody involved was just, has been so into it. Becca Brunstetter who wrote the book, Michael Grice, Shelley Williams, co-directors, Katie Spellman, choreographer, Carmel Dean, our music supervisor, it go, I mean, the list goes on and on. Everybody, props, wardrobe, um, social media, like everybody from every corner is just so invested in the, mm. in, in the story and in the music and the musical. And it just feels like this really warm, wonderful group of people that got together and just worked on something they all loved. And that made me feel and continues to make me feel like we have something really important. Wow. I want to go back for a minute to the first time you saw the movie The Notebook. How did it affect you like after that first oh time? Gosh. Did you love it like yes. from the very beginning? Yes, and I cried and cried and cried in my friend's tiny little apartment in Staten Island. I remember we, we rented it. When I met with the producer, Kevin McCollum, and he was like, oh, maybe The Notebook would be good for you. And I just had to excuse myself and go to the bathroom and cry a little bit. because I was just like, The Notebook, oh my God. Yeah, I just love the story. Oh That's our young Allie. This is our young Allie, Jordan Tyson. Woo! A little CP, I love it. Uh, hello. This is our middle Allie, Joy Woods. <laughs> What is it like for you to be a part of this production? It's great. <laughs> I'm really enjoying my time here. It's the best group of people and the best material, so like you can't lose. This sweet child just did a music child. video yesterday. Well, everyone's a child to yeah, me because yeah. I'm 100 years old. We're the same. We have the same birthday. Only you do. You do. <sighs> I don't think. Don't want to tell you how many <laughs> years apart we are. Just two. Just two. Just two. I'm 26. Uh -huh. She did. Uh, a music video yesterday, and then did an uh -huh. event in the evening, and is now we here. Both did the event. Yes, but you have to now do a show, and and has eight shows this week. This oh is what God. these humans have That's to do. Crazy. Yeah. I don't know. And wait till you see this music video. Wait till oh, you see this video. Wait. It's gorgeous. It's Come on up. Oh, this is our traitor's walk. So, so many people have been banished or murdered. I don't know, this is really... Okay, are you still, are you on the wall? Or no, I'm not in the game, because I'm not in the film, I'm so sad. I want to play. Oh, this is our young, our young Allie and our young Noah are trying to run away. They're trying oh to run God. away. No, 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 there's a lot. Me meeting Johnny Cardova! <laughs> <laughs> so That's cute. I love it. All right, come down. I'm gonna show you. We're gonna. I'm gonna show you like the the, okay, yeah, the makeup right. department oh, yes. or the Love wigs. That. So see how Jordan was wearing a wig cap. All of the um, female identifying actors wear wigs because you hide the mic in there. I think this is the kitchen. It's very glamour. 
Hello. Hi. 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 My name is Raphael. Hi, Raphael. Um, I am working with Joy right now. So we call this her updo wig Joy's or her dry alley. wig. Yeah. Middle alley, yeah. excuse me. Alley. Molly right now is working on her rain wig or down do. It does wig. rain. It we does do have rain. The rain. We do have water. <laughs> <laughs> because there is rain, we have to feed mics into the wigs, not just on their body, right? So what you'll notice here, to give you a little sneak peek, don't tell anybody, is that we have a channel that's built through the wig that the mic comes out up front. So my job right now is to sort of mask that and then make it look pretty user-friendly. And so with the down do wig or the wet wig, we're doing the same thing. Now, she also has her own mic that's on, so they're doubled up, and then we also have to make sure that they are in line with each other, both for our aesthetics, but also for sound. Oh, wow, okay. This is look, we appreciate it. This yeah. is great. Oh, we have Georgie. Our Georgie's over here. Wardrobe has the best candy. Look at this. If you ever want candy, find out where the thread and the needle people are. That's what I say. That's okay, it's payback because we get to listen to your beautiful music. Oh, oh so sweet. Yeah. This is, this is so cool. This is everyone throughout the whole, wow. Not everybody's, but um, a lot of quick changes that have to happen. Okay, Ingrid, you're the best tour guide. This is so interesting. This is where all the rain ends up going. Look, they have to oh, kind of, it gather. This is like for anything that leaks, but then it like repurposes. But I don't, honestly, I don't know how they do it. It looks so beautiful when the rain comes down. And then you come down here and you're like, oh, this is crazy. This is where. Crazy. Here's where they do really quick changes. Oh, See how they have everything amazing. ready just to like yes. throw on. Oh, this is so cool. I don't know if we're allowed to be doing this, but here we are. Okay. So up here wild. is where the band goes. We can't totally go up there, but right, that's where the band is. <gasps> and so you can the... see some of the <gasps> set. Yeah, this is oh our, God, that's uh, this. Old, Older Alley's bed. Opening night, where were you? Like, wait, I was sitting in the audience, like right in the center, palms sweating. As a theater kid growing up, to have this experience of writing the music and the lyrics for a story that I love. And then we created our own entity though also. It's not a carbon copy of the movie. It's its own piece. How did you decide what you wanted to keep from the original story and what you wanted to add into up. it? The, the, the band is warming up. Wow. Um, it's kind of what, what we felt, what Becca and I felt made the most sense for the story and how to tell it and how to make it really universal. Um, and so we added some things. We took out some things. We retained some things. It just, it all, I mean, seven years is a long time. Oh, nice. So we had a really wonderful long time to develop, develop this. I don't think I've ever been on a Broadway stage before. Well, now it's you insane. are, welcome. There's middle Noah through the Hi, stairs. Noah. What's it like working with Ingrid? Awful. <laughs> it's terrible. No, it's been amazing. It's been amazing. No, it's a blessing, truly. It, yeah. It's like the best score I've ever seen before. Oh my god. Wow, it's incredible. I paid him to say that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Now soon everyone will get to enjoy this music. The original yeah. cast recordings are being released, which is so exciting. What yes. can you tell us about that? I um, the word proud doesn't even describe. People who are all over the world can now hear this music that you only can hear on the stage, and now everybody anywhere can access it. So many of the Broadway shows that I fell in love with as a kid were through the official Broadway cast recordings, and I had never seen these shows, but I would envision them in my mind while listening, and we can now do that for people, and I just love it. And maybe it'll bring people in. What track from the entire score like, makes you the most emotional? You know what? It changes, honestly. I think I Want to Go Back, which is a duet between Younger Alley and Middle Alley, where they're singing Older Alley's thoughts. That's a real powerful one, and, uh, and My Days, um, Middle Alley's big song, um, is another one that really affects me. Because I can envision what's happening on stage, and I know the actors involved, and I know everybody that worked so hard to make this this show a living, breathing thing. Uh, I'm just really so deeply connected to all of the music and the fact that obviously I wrote it, but it's more than just me. It's bigger than me. And I think that's why this cast recording is affecting me differently than previous releases of my own music. Yeah, it just really feels like you feel like you're just part of a big, beautiful team. Um, so yeah, I'm so excited it's gonna be coming out. And we got to see a lot of that team backstage. Thank you for that amazing tour. Yes, that was really incredible. But this is kind of how 
how it is. It's very chaotic. And then once the show starts, it's like clockwork. Everybody is just where they have to be. Yeah, you saw those those shorts ready to be pulled up. Uh, John, our younger Noah, has a very, very quick change. He's soaking wet and has to then, 60 seconds later, be on the other side of the stage. And there's no cross behind. You have to go under the stage, up, and come back up. So it's it's wild what they what what yeah. these actors do. They're amazing. We oh, see the stage, we see everything. This is our older Allie. Oh. This is Mary Ann Plunkett. She plays our older Allie, and Hi. she is. <laughs> this woman is um, just has my whole heart. Mm -hmm. Well, you have mine. Thank you so much, Ingrid. This has been so lovely, and congratulations Thank again. You. This is so monumental, and we're so, so excited for you. Thank you, Ingrid, so much for the backstage tour. Everyone is lining up outside. The show is about to start, and I cannot wait. And don't forget, you can stream the original cast recordings that are out now, so you can enjoy the music no matter where you are. I'll see you inside. Thanks so much for watching. Did you like that video? You can check out more over here and don't forget to subscribe to iHeart right here. And if you're already a longtime fan, make sure you ring the bell down below so you don't miss a single video. See you next time.